Images so familiar, yet still with the power to transfix, to horrify, and the exhibition curators hope to force reflection on all that has happened in the 16 years since 9-11. The exhibition opens with 9-12 front page by German artist Hans-Peter Feldman, 151 newspaper front pages published the day after the terror attacks. In the internet age, you know, we're bombarded with images and, and that feeds into how artists respond as well. And um, the, the fact that we're so readily informed about global events um, and that the access to that information is so immediate feeds into how artists research and how artists respond. Several of the works are provocative. Fellow German Fabian Knecht wore a suit covered in dust that had been worn by a survivor of a suicide bomb attack in Iraq and filmed himself walking through the streets of New York, an echo of the survivors of 9-11. British brothers Jake and Dinos Chapman aimed to address the continuation of violent conflict using mounds of plastic Nazi figurines to evoke the World Trade Center Twin Towers. Indian artist Jitish Kalat offers a humorous take on the ubiquitous increased security checks since 9-11. Ai Weiwei, the Chinese artist who has faced constant persecution from Beijing, has a modern twist on the ancient marble sculpture with a model of a CCTV camera. It gives the visitor a chance to um, take a moment of contemplation as they walk through the show and it also reflects this continuing state of emergency that, that the world has been in since 9-11. Among the most powerful works is this one by London-based Syrian artist Herer Sarkissian who left his home country in 2008 and has watched from afar as Syria is consumed by civil war. Sarkissian constructed a perfect model of his Damascus family home where his parents still live and filmed himself destroying it with a sledgehammer. I still, until now, I have this constant fear that something will happen when, whenever my parents call me and, uh, or they don't call me, I always start worrying. Because of this constant fear that I have in my, uh, in my head, I just wanted to break it. How to get rid of the fear by, uh, with breaking uh, the model, let's say. Tragically for Sarkissian, life is imitating art. After I did the, the, this video, I mean the house, uh, was hit four times and one of the times uh, my parents were sitting and uh, they're watching TV and my father but all the windows were completely smashed and my father uh, he was uh, injured. The curators hope the exhibition offers a modern update on the long relationship between conflict and art. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.